welcome to another episode. We are going to do today um, just a quick and easy way of doing the new scout troopers from FFG's Legion. You can see him there. A couple of people have been asking when I've shown these off in the groups how, how we do them and is there a quick and easy way and yep there is. So what we're going to do is we're going to I've got a couple of parts done, but we're going to quickly go from start to finish, uh, the quickest way to do it that I've found, and at the moment we're doing quite a lot of these for people. So this is what they look like. So just the standard trooper and. A quick and effective way of doing it. So, what we start out with, I know it's a uh, snow trooper, but the system works the same for snow troopers, scout troopers. Um, we do it the same on the storm troopers. Anything with the white armor. I think would be exactly the same. The only difference is when we've come to do the extra bits. Uh, obviously, we use different colours on these. So, first things we do is remove all the mold lines, just using a um, sharp knife or the edging tools that you can get from GW. Carefully, not to remove any of the the detail. Uh, once I've done that, I quickly go over with a, a, wire, a soft wire brush just the bits that where I've actually took plastic away from just a, a quick rub to basically get any of the bits away give it a quick clean and then uh, a wash uh, sorry uh, a white primer and that's going to be the base of the actual model as well so we start with an all white base. So the first thing that we go to do is to get all the shading in all the recesses and stuff like that. So what I've got is null in oil and if anyone's tried it before just putting null in oil straight over the white it heavily stains it. So what I've got in this tub it's slightly different. It's uh, one part Null in oil to three parts lamium medium, so it's a it's a three to one mix, and it it's a lot. I don't know if you can see that, it's a lot a lot thinner and a lot lighter, but it still shades the recesses just as much as it needs to. So with that, you just take the model. And apply it all over quite liberally as well. It's, it will all pull up and it will all go to the bottom of the model. Uh, you just watch for big pulls and then you remove the big pulls. Knowing that the bottom part of the uh, uniform is going to eventually be. Uh, a bone colour or a cream colour anyway it's not as important to to pick up any pooling on that you're just aiming for where you know it's going to be white and that's it and you leave that for some time to dry Brush. I have pots of nulling already mixed up 50 50, uh, 3 to 1, and uh, full strength just for, for ease, and so I don't have to keep mixing and mixing. It just goes straight, straight onto the models. So once you're at this stage and it's all nicely dried. Uh, the simplest thing to do, there we go, 
we'll go for a dry brush. So, GW's Praxetti White. Uh, yep. And one of my favourite new fine brushes. This is a makeup brush. Uh, I've got quite a few of them because I picked them up cheap from the. Uh, I think it was Pound. One of the Pound shops. And obviously they're a pound each, but they seem to be going up in price. They are Elf Contour Brushes. Uh, they've got a really soft end. And they're just really good for for doing a, a decent dry brush. So I actually keep one of these specifically for white. Uh, what I find with... I've got one that I've done red with and as soon as I start using it there's still red appears in the bristles and it's very hard to get away from the fact that you end up with a pink stormtrooper. So the usual thing with the dry brush. Make sure it gets into all the bristles. You can see it's it's loading up on the brush. Quick check that now this again is you just hit the whole model up and down if you rotate the brush round as well just so you get all the paint out the bristles starting to, to brighten it up compared to the, the back you've got more defined lines on it again another quick we're not wanting to spend hours on this we're just wanting a, a quick way to get them onto the tabletop and to get your plane basically without too much of a, a too much of a job so the main one that I do go for is you'll see it's quite black on his helmet so or quite dark on his helmet so I tend to go with quite a heavy one just gently across just to turn it so it's white and then back to the light I have experimented with going in one direction to get a, an effect like zenithal, hi zenithal highlighting where it just looks as though it's um, but again if you're wanting it quick just rub over it real quick so for the white armor that's basically it it, it looks shaded it looks mucky these aren't for brand new out of the box stormtroopers and snow troopers and that this is for ones that have they've actually done a bit of work right and then the next color is the black so as you can see on this one there's parts that need to be black the gloves the gun uh, the visor the mask the neck piece the quickest way I've found to do black and to actually shade it at the same time is again this is a pot that I have already made up because I used that much of it is Mechanica Standard Grey by GW and a Bad and Black by GW 50-50 mix into an old wash pot give it a good shake I've actually thinned this um, a little bit myself already in the pot so when it comes out it's fairly sorry fairly runny and then I'll use my palette instead of my table like I normally do and at this stage I will need my glasses so again it's a size 2 brush as you can see it's not super fine detail work you just need to be that little bit more careful not to hit uh, any of the white so. and all the nook 
nooks and crannies where the black would be. as I said this is actually thinned paint already so where you need to thin it um, I already have it set up in the pot ready to go and just quickly do the the black all over and where the uh, the armour is, uh, just make sure that you're not clipping any of it, or the binoculars, and go around the whole model and get it to that, that sort of stage. Once you've got all the black done, I'm not going to sit and go through it, this is just a quick how-to. You can then take the model with the black on. So where you've put this black, it'll dry and it'll start to come up slightly. Um, it'd be better to show them the. Slightly grey. So what you do then is you take the. 100% null in, so pure null in, and then go over all the grey, or the 50-50 the mix of the grey, and null in all, and it'll all go into all the gaps, and you'll end up with quite a strong black, but you can also see that there's... I don't know if you're going to be able to see that. You can also see that there's still some shade in the recesses so it makes it just that little bit darker there we go and that's basically it once you've got that down there's the black in the eyes the way i do the black inside the eyes is gently move that out the way but with any of the others i tend to use pure null in and drop that in and it soaks up but it where it is in the middle it goes quite thin so you can see the white through it but it it gives it a gray look as if it's a if it's a glass visor and then to finish it off all i've used in this one is the astro granite by gw to get the base done and then couple of grass tufts by gamers grass again another quick easy way to get a base looking like that we've already done a, a run through on the basin uh, and that's it it's good enough to go on the table when you get a group of five ten of them together they'll look absolutely brilliant uh, and the a squad should take you no more than a couple of hours even for beginners it it's really simple and really effective way of getting your Imperials on the table. Okay, that's basically as quick and as easy as it is. Thank you for watching. Um, don't forget, if you're interested in this and any more, hit the subscribe button and we'll be bringing more to you soon. Thank you very much.